Hi there. In this video, I will talk about Python's Matplotlib stack chart or the area chart. If you have uh, used it in a Excel, you must have seen it under the name area chart. So this chart is uh, sometimes very helpful in viewing the distribution like this, you know, where the values, for example, in case here in blue, it is increasing, but here in case of orange, it is decreasing. So they are stacked uh, upon each other. And then finally, you have the gray value which is tagged on both blue and orange. So how you can create a similar type of chart <coughs> in the uh, Python using the matplotlib library, I'll just walk you through. So here we have uh, uh, the Jupyter Notebook and I will just import the matplotlib.pyplot library as plt and I will ask that uh, matplotlib inline so that I don't have to write the matplotlib uh, plt.show method to view the chart. This will help me to view the chart as soon as I'm executing the command. All right. So here we have the both the libraries imported. And uh, since this is a stack chart, we need to have one x axis. So maybe x and uh, or I will just give you some context. So for example, let's say you are a manager of, uh, of a center, processing center where, you know, the shifts are going on. And maybe let's say there are three shifts which are going on and uh, you have the data for uh, these shifts for five weeks and trying to evaluate how the things are happening uh, in the different shift shifts. So whether there is an increase, decrease or how it is. So let's say we have week and one, two, three, three, four, and five weeks data. And maybe for shift one, we have, uh, uh, let's say 40 hours, then 35 hours, then 26 hours, then uh, 20, let's say three hours. And finally, 20 hours, um, shift two, let's say you have uh, 40 hours then 32 then again 40 then maybe 45 and 50 and in shift 3 it's pretty normal 40 35 45 and then 42 and 40 okay so we now have this data and now let's create a scatter so what we need to give is week and shift one, shift two, shift three, press enter. Why I used scatter, I don't know. I should have used the stack. Okay, um, plt dot stack plot. And then week, shift one, shift to shift three and here I have the information so it's clearly you know indicative that for shift one it's not performing well maybe there is a lower volume but as you can see for shift two the volume is going high maybe these guys are not working properly over here so that's why it's, it's you know uh, the sh volume is shifting over here but these guys looks pretty okay they are pretty you know consistent with their uh, approach in terms of uh, the number of hours that they are spending but one thing that becomes uh, quite confusing is about uh, what shift it is so what you can do is add a label and say shift one then shift two and then shift three all right uh, the label we need to call the legend as well I guess still a problem okay now let's see why uh, fill between got multiple value argument label um, let's see what it is whether it's a label issue or what so it's think labels if I press shift tab tab and I will yeah labels a list or tuple of labels so we have provided a list 
and here we are so now I can clearly see which is shift 1 shift 2 and shift 3 so that's a very basic nature about uh, or a basic way of creating the area chart and trying to understand with the help of the shifts how these data points will reveal the information from the data as always my suggestion you can always go to here and press shift tab tab and uh, review the you know the arguments based on the further enhancement you want to do so for example baseline it has multiple argument and uh, similarly labels that we have used we have colors as as always and uh, finally shows how you can get the information about the collection for each of the class element in this tech area plot so this is the command that you can give directly and get the idea if you are really want to go much more deep in that so that's pretty much all i have for you in this uh, video and i'll meet you in the new video any topic